Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to understand about how the enrollment restrictions can be set and the limitations of that are specific to restrictions related to the enrollment. As an Intune administrator, you can create and manage different enrollment restrictions and that can be easily applied. Uh, maybe we can say that a type of devices uh, that not to be enrolled or maybe a type of uh, user uh, or maybe group, the number of uh, devices we can set it as a limit for example only five users can be used uh, these are the devices something like that you can configure and uh, let's have a look on it on a specific to enrollment restrictions that you can create and include in your uh, configuration as an Intune administrator. You can check out here a uh, maximum number of uh, enrollment devices you can configure you can devise platforms you can uh, what are the platforms can be enrolled in fact that can be configured for example you are, are you allowing the Android Android for work profile or are you allowing iOS devices to enroll or Mac OS Windows and Windows mobiles can be configured whether you are allowing to onboard your uh, devices to Intune similarly you can also configure for the platform operating systems version wise uh, for example iOS or Android or Android work profile and Windows and Windows mobile specific to uh, 10 versus maybe 8 or 8.1 something like that you can do the configuration and also you can apply the minimum and the maximum version so that you would be covered uh, if any older version of the software you don't want to uh, you want to eliminate completely you can do that and you can allow them to only a specific set of uh, maximum and minimum version of that uh, operating system can be configured and similarly you can also apply for the restricted a uh, personal owned devices maybe a specific to a specific set of users a uh, you don't want to allow them to uh, own more than maybe a five or six or maybe a specific to you can force them to use only iOS or Android or, or Android work for um, profile or something like that you can always do the configuration these are the uh, restrictions you can uh, do it uh, from into an uh, as an Intune administrator. Let's have a look on uh, how to configure this uh, restriction. So I need to navigate to Intune and then device enrollment and enrollment restrictions. In this, uh, by default, you have already five device uh, limit is configured as well as it is also configured for the device type also. So you have the two uh, default things which are configured. Uh, in this case, default restrictions are automatically created and provided uh, in this case for the both device type as well as the uh, device limit enrollment uh, restrictions. You can also change these options. Uh, for example, if you want to change the default values, you can always change it. Uh, by changing those values but in fact we are not going to change any anything here instead we are going to try with uh, creating a new uh, restrictions and let's have a uh, look on how to create so you can click on this uh, blade apple create restriction and here you can give us maybe a demo and uh, if you look at here there are two types under restriction types one would be the device limit other one would be the device type restriction so the major difference would be how many number of devices you're gonna allow the uh, allow or restrict the users that's going to be the device limit restriction and I can say that hey I, I want to configure for 15 or 10 so this is just the numbering game and if you are uh, looking for more number of uh, devices to be in allowed in any case for example if you have the users might might be there uh, you wanted to allow them more devices in that situation you can go to the device enrollment and you can configure I'm sorry I opened in another tab just wanted to show you here device enrollment manager so this device enrollment managers who has uh, almost uh, 1000 plus uh, devices can be enrolled for this user so there could be a few of the users on every company they may run here and there they may use more than 15 devices in that situation you need to give their account then it would be taken up and it would be considered as almost no limit for that device enrollment for that specific users uh, they are considered as the device enrollment uh, managers now have a look on it another uh, configuration which we open in in the left side tab so we talked about now device limit restriction let's also uh, 
have a look on device type restrictions in this it is going to be asked for what are the platforms you want to configure let's say you want to allow android or you want to block maybe ios example so these are the uh, settings which can be applied post to the applied for example uh, assume that i have uh, configured as this and then if i want i can simply click on ok and configure uh, based on the platforms again to that specific uh, devices also like minimum and maximum so this is another level of funneling or another level of filtering so as a first step uh, you would be uh, configuring here the platforms uh, let's see example I want to allow Android but inside Android what version to what version you want to allow that can be configured maybe you want to configure from 5.0 to 6.0 you can allow these kind of configuration you can uh, configure and let's have a look on it what are other additional settings are there because we just looked at Android uh, I wanted to allow and also I wanted to allow for Android uh, work profile so what exactly Android work profile so Android work profile is these are the basically coming from the Android for enterprise so with the Android enterprise you can see as per this link uh, if you're quite new to the Android enterprise by this time you should be understanding that you know few of the companies already started to adapting the Android enterprise so you have more secure within the uh, within the Android operating system and every application will be very similar to scanned and it would be fully tested and then only they would be releasing it's not like uh, the normal devices where you have the Play Store and you simply log in and test it so these kind of uh, uh, environment uh, would require a different profile if you want to creating a different profile uh, that profile related restrictions can be applied here so always for the Android and Android for work would be a different altogether one would be the when it is in in the Intune if it is referred as Android that means the normal devices uh, like as a personal devices and uh, that does not have the Android enterprise operating system inside because Android uh, enterprise has the more capabilities than the normal Android when I say capabilities in terms of the security and uh, let's have a look on uh, other uh, configuration iOS if you want to allow you can allow or you can block so in my case I'm gonna allow everything including Mac OS Windows and Windows Mobile uh, that's okay and I can apply this platform level restrictions if I want so I'm not applying anything here if I wanted to as I said earlier uh, if you want to allow maybe a 7 or maybe 8 uh, Android to a dot zero two sorry I use to maybe a ten point one example you can allow them if I similarly if I want to block I can go for the block option similar things can be done all the time and you can also go enable for the Mac OS and uh, you can have the Windows uh, and Windows Mobile so I'm just gonna uh, configure all these as a demo configuration and uh, anyway this configuration has the almost the default configuration I'm and if I want to assign always go to the uh, assignment uh, and here you can select the required AD group or you can select the you can apply in fact for all the users uh, if you if you're really interested but I'm just gonna apply for maybe all finance user group example and say select that uh, makes easy the required policies click to save and that would save the required policies.